All right, guys, we got a crazy vlog for you guys today. Heavy D called, said it's recovery time. Alan's on board, Diesel Dave's on board, Heavy D's on board, Bud's on board. So basically, he's gonna take anybody that he can to recover this tractor in the mud in Idaho. And what are they gonna take to help them do it? Of course, they're gonna take the hat wrecker. This only happens like four or five times a year, honestly. Like, they have to have a really good excuse to take this out on a recovery. And here it is, guys. What's this uh, episode called? I think I'm gonna call it Plane Noises. Nah, it's recovery time. Fully loaded. I want you to be able to hear this. Now it's time to load up the Ninja Turtle truck so we can go to Idaho and pick up a tractor out of Muddy Field. So step one is we gotta load it on this trailer, which is the glory of the low boy, right, Alan? Let's we'll start with dropping the trailer. First, you gotta turn it on, right? Then you come over here, and you pull the lock pin out, okay? Now you see, you got your right height locked in, so you gotta go up just a little bit with your little boy, and then you drop her on down, all the way to the ground, why we call her the low boy, right about there's free, you can see that the, you'll be able to pull it forward, it's unlocked. Then, very important step, you want to unplug your air lines and your electrical, or when you pull the truck away, you're going to look like a real silly goose. And you don't want to look like a silly goose, trust me. So, pop it, pop it, pop it. It's got a nice little pocket right here. That way when you drive your Ninja Turtle truck up on here, you don't run over your cables and make a schmess. Like that. And you're completely free now. Now, you just drive her on forward. I have my trusty, rusty uh, assistant, Mr. Skeeter. Go ahead, why don't you pull it forward just a little bit more, Skeeter. Right until you find it. Then you gotta be able to put it back on. First, let's load up the green machine. Oh, do a montage right here. While we're loading up the hat, I need you to load up on some new Sparks Motors gear at sparksmotorsofficial.com. I'll let you in on a little secret. Right now, if you use the code SMCO20, you're gonna get 20% off all these new designs. Look at this. Who doesn't wanna wear a shirt like this, or this one, or that one? We're constantly updating, we're constantly updating the website. So if you wanna look this good in an SMCO shirt or hat, click the link in the description, and go and buy some gear. Now, back to loading up. Hey man, that was really weird. All right, what do we got here? The loading Olympic Games? Yes. Wire and cable that we have. Gotta get it loaded up and Skeeter demanded that he does it himself. I did it last time with the bag. It hit the rope bag. <laughs> All right, let's get loaded up. The hood. Yeah, just real quick, just a second here, just making sure all the oils are correct. How's she look? We're low on oil. I need some oil. A couple quarts. What kind of oil are running this? Uh, I gotta see where. I can't remember the opening. Whoa, whoa. The opening. See if I would have to use. Yeah, I'm gonna need funnels. I didn't want. You got like, some funnels here, Al. They're too small, I think, huh? Uh, I don't know, a red one. These two. Uh, what did you one? say? That actually works. I should try it. It does work. I didn't think that worked. Cole, you're awesome. <laughs> That's <It> does work. <laughs> I think we're ready to load her. 
Oh, the hydro roll. We need any uh, mats for this or is it just loaded up without any extensions? We probably should. I should probably go take the Parastar truck, flat bedding. We'll get some like we did last time. I think we have a couple out front, actually. I'll go grab yeah. those. I mean, do we need them for this? I've loaded it before. Yeah, Hat said it'd probably be good, you know? Because we might want to put them like underneath the front tires of the tractor, and that way it pulls up onto it, you know? Okay. Ooh, that feels good. It'd be nice to have some long flowing hair to blow in the wind, but I don't have that. I'm going to go get those uh, rig mats, the skinny ones, so then we can pull the tractor up on him and pull it up out of the mud. Outside with both sides of your tires, you're gonna most likely get it in there. Unless this is way crooked on the truck, yeah. then you we, gotta like come in on an angle. Without using our wood under there, it usually does actually kick a little bit. Just because our plate's a little uh, weathered. <laughs> what else we got, Al, on the maintenance list? Well, I had scavenged this fitting off and put a broken one on because we needed it on another recovery. So I just realized I needed air for that other tire. I let a little bit too much out. So I bought some uh, spares and uh, now I got the spare on. It's really important to have air on these machines. You never know when you're gonna blow out a tire or need air for any sort of what in the tool world, or whatever we're using. Alan gets really mad about the soft shackles not being where they should be. And this is obvious, soft shackles. Your air hose? Yeah. What are you looking for, that D-ring? Yeah. Let's use the big one, huh? We gotta get these small ones out of the way, though. That's my job. Mr. Key? One 
grinder, if you would try and turn. There you go. Binders and chains. See if that one works. Sorry about your new wood, Skeeter. This is a nice stained deck, I stained. So clean. Hey, look at that. Pressure washed it and stained it. Nice. Nice. Dude, you just said that. <laughs> Screw you, man. <laughs> <laughs> the idea is on this is to drive all the way to Idaho, right? Which is not too far, two hours, three hours, right? But the issue is if we break something, then the recovery becomes something else altogether. So when you're pulling on a, what, 100,000 pound tractor stuck in the mud, it's basically unlimited force you're gonna be using. So, our boss is Dave Sparks, and he's kind of hard on things. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Uh oh. What'd you do? Y'all, you split your pants out? Yeah. Dude, I, it's bad. There's nothing to keep things from coming. <laughs> uh, I mean, I might have to make a quick drive home. We haven't shown anything, but I think Alan just split his pants open. <laughs> find another one. We gotta wait for Alan to Alan towards pants. We gotta strap those boards down. You good? <laughs> I'm better. Brought something just in case this one splits. <laughs> Always good to have a backup, right? Yeah. Last thing we need on YouTube is Pop Goes the Weasel. What are you doing here? So we're chaining down this uh, big green Ninja Turtle truck so we gotta go up to Idaho and pull a tractor out of the field with all the water we've been getting this year. People are just getting their stuff stuck bad. It's swampy, so he took his new tractor out, got it stuck, took his old tractor to try and pull the new tractor out and got it stuck. So there's two tractors deep in the middle of this field up there in Idaho. So we're gonna take the beast up there, hook some cables to him, try and pull one out get one out then we can use that tractor and the truck to pull the third one out and hopefully everybody goes home happy with all their tractors intact that's the goal what part of Idaho is it in just outside of Income oh, okay yeah oh they, dude they, it's which, way flooded up there yeah which is always famous for being flooded even in non-flood years and this yeah. year we've gotten ten times as much water so oh, we should be leaving as soon as Dave gets here I think we're just about done tying down Got the truck tied down, got all the recovery ropes in the truck. Got a spare tire for the trailer because we shouldn't be blowing one of those all the time these days. Got all the D-rings, all the cables, and all the manpower. So, just about ready. As soon as the boss gets here, we hit the open road, save a couple of tractors, come home. Somebody say manpower? Yeah, we got the manpower, I said. I think. Look at that guy. That's all the manpower anyone needs. Ladies, that's all the manpower you need. Call 1 800 Skeeter. You don't have to be lonely at farmersonly.com. Should I sign up? Yes. I'll sign up. All right. But you have to take profile pictures for me. Deal. I'll do that. <laughs> Can I have Diesel star in some of them? I was going to say. Diesel it approved. Help. He'll be like over there in the corner. Give him two thumbs up. <laughs> I approve of this message. Farmersonly.com. I'll just go right through here. Oh, a whole bunch of D-rings. Diesel Day's D-ring store. D-rings. I don't know about. I don't know about this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was really glad I didn't have to use that one. Yeah. I did pretty good. I didn't even hit a traffic light, or maybe I hit one traffic light. I just say you made pretty good time. Yeah. Oh, Al split his pants. He got so excited about today. He split his pants. All right, so we got okay. two points on the truck, both of the D-rings, ratcheted down here with our binder. Got our board strapped down here. All right, 
Got two binders on the back. Hooked to the trailer. Two chains. That means uh, four points of contact, three binders, one strap over the wood, one truck, one Steven, three recovery ropes, I think eight D-rings, three soft shackles, one long length of cable, one Allen, one Skeeter, one me, one Dave. I think you got Nate too. And Nate, we got Nate. I think we have everything it's gonna take to get these tractors out of that field, so now we just, uh, oh, speak of the devil, Dave's here. Time to hit the road. Two tractors in that big. If you look at hands on me, I don't know what brand they are. I don't know anything. Okay. But I think one of them had a disc on there. The field so wet, he was taking it through the field and just sank. Took the second one to try and pull it out and sank that one. So we should be able to rescue that second one pretty easy. And then hopefully cable to it and then pull with this one. No, super easy. Super easy, right? You know, those tractors are really good at going through mud. If they got stuck, that's really stuck. There's one guy that knows how to get a tractor stuck, it's that guy over there. Oh, yeah. But he also knows how to get him unstuck, so I think we're pretty safe. All right, is it gonna be successful? Why don't you go ahead and make your guesses in the comments below. Why don't you make a guess on how long it's gonna take us to get those tractors unstuck, and if we're even gonna get them. But for now, I gotta go load up in the semi and get up to Idaho, because those tractors aren't gonna get themselves unstuck. Make your guesses, see you next time. And oh, hey, while you're at it, like and subscribe. Later! Yeah, huh? Do you ever have a hype up song when you're going on this stuff? A hype up song? I got the weirdest taste of music you've ever seen. You want? I got the weirdest taste of music you've ever Do seen. Do you? Yeah, so it's. I'm all curious over the place. now. Yeah. Well, I'll, <laughs> share you, I'll share my playlist. Woo! Take that! <laughs>